um, uh, haven't been making webinars for almost two weeks, right? Because I'm uh, in China to conducting courses. All right, so this is a uh, uh, just a quick recap for the market. All right, so gold, gold has already finished uh, their ABCD target, uh, which I published in Trading View. You can see this uh, ABCD patterns. Okay, it works pretty well, and it actually have a very nice confluction okay of this uh, area 1240 right so I'm keeping uh, I'm I was keeping shorting okay keep shorting gold for the last uh, few weeks right short maybe three or four times so right? as you can see uh, when the first touch we short and it goes down and I have a pullback and a daily inside bar we shot again and it moves down again and we have another second profit and then the price just to have a double top and uh, this one we like to uh, we would like to short the inside bar break down however it didn't actually form an inside bar in the end it actually pulls back so when the immediately the pullback happens I said we can Consider to short at 1225.33, the 618 level, and it did come to the 60, 61 level, right, as you can see here. So, and the price, okay, uh, works pretty well. It actually dropped from 1228 to 1221. We earned about $7, right? Okay, and now, okay, it looks like, okay, guys, what is the trend right now? Can you tell me what is the trend? I give you three options, right? Up, down, or sideways. What is your what is your answer? Yeah, you can interact with me. Alright. Do you think now the go daily chart is a uptrend, downtrend, or sideways? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have to we have to always ask uh, these questions. Because the trend analysis will actually give you, give us a very clear picture, right? To you want to long or you want to short or you want to buy the low or sell high. Okay, Roy said it's done, and someone Eric says sideways, right? And maybe there are some other answers, right? But for me, okay, I'm I will only consider the recent maybe one week, right? So we can see here we have uh, two top. We have two high points that is right didn't make a higher high, and now we can see here have another pivot point right really still restrict the price, and we have a we have support previous right we have support here at one two one three one two one three again and this one okay the low gets lower right do you agree? Do you agree the low gets lower? And what about the what about high? The high is getting hmm, looks like getting lower as well. So it's it's actually a downtrend, right? Because based on based on the definition, we have a high lower highs and higher and lower lows, right? This is lower lows, okay? Uh, but the price pulls back again okay trying to make a third highs right and now look at this picture here can you find that the bulls has lost the momentum can you in which candles can tell you this which candle you can make a conclusion that the bulls has lost the momentum yes very good, Roy said inside bar. Yes, we have inside bar here. Okay, we have inside bar here. Okay, are uh, in the price. The bulls try and push hard. Okay, make higher, 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 higher highs. Okay, but cannot break the previous pivot. And then from here, you can see one, two, and look at this. I would like to recommend you guys to remember this pattern. This is a very, very typical patterns of price actions, which I 
told you guys many times. The first bar, the first bar is a big red candle, right? We call it a mother bar because this is an inside the bar's mother bar. What about the second one? What about the second one? Can you tell me what is the second? It is a inside bar, right? And look carefully what else is this bar? You recognize this is a pink bar as well because it has very very long shadows okay this long shadows tells you that a lot of the setting force is here right okay basically the mother bar gives you the direction the momentum is going down and then the price pulls back all the way but cannot break new high and then it was rejected to the bottom all right are we clear and now look at today Look at today. Do you consider this inside bar was breaking down or breaking up? Give me your answer. Look at shadow here. It actually breaks down, right? Good. So it breaks down and the inside bar itself, okay, is a pin bar, which is a bearish pin bar. So with this, and now it's break down. Okay, so actually we have three informations we gather, right? It forms our inside bar, the first one. Second one, the inside bar itself is a bearish pin bar. Third, third, the inside bar was broken down. Okay, so based on these three things, three points, what conclusion can you get? What do you feel of the gold? We have strong bearish candle, another bearish pin bar, and form their inside bar and break down. Based on the three th informations I provided, which we take from these candles, what can you draw? Do you feel the gold is strong, move up, or move down, or sideways, or maybe? We have our opportunities to short or buy. Which one you prefer? You would like to prefer to buy the gold at 1222 at this level and aim a high high, or you rather to would like to short, right? Short the inside bar break down. Short the pin bars, right? Which one you prefer? Okay, good. I see a lot of uh, people saying short. All right, good. So based on the inside bar strategies, <coughs> if you enter the short, where is your entry? Let's just make a recap. Just in case some, someone, some new friend here, don't know what is inside bar. What is our entry of this inside bar? Can you tell me? Yeah, because we now we have already find our directions. We would like to go to the south, right? We would like to short. So the question is, where's your entry? Right? The answer is that the entry should be at the low of the inside bar. Right? The lowest point of the inside bar, which is 1221.39. So should be here. When the price break down at this point, you entered. Where's your stop? Where's your stop loss? Your stop loss should be placed at least the highest point of the inside bar, which is 1227.95. And you have to add a spread or add some tolerance levels, right? Wiggle room. So let's just put at one, two, two, eight. Okay, point ten. Okay. So, what is your risk level? Risk distance. How many? How many pips? How many dollars? So we have to do a quick calculation. One, two, two, eight point ten minus one, two, two, one point thirty nine, which will give you a. Let's 
6.71. Okay, let's just calculate. Okay, so it's 6.71. Let's just take the 6.70 dollar, which will be 67 pips, right? Because for one lot gold, you're going to purchase 100 ounce. So your if you buy one lot gold, your risk will be 670 US dollar. Am I right? Am I right? If you short here and short one lot, one contract, and you place your stop loss at 1 to 2 8.10, okay, you are risking 6.70 dollar and you buying you're selling 100 ounces so your total risk will be 670 dollars right okay good so let's say if you are managing a one ten thousand account for ten thousand account and apply two percent rule what is the minute what is the risk for one trade what is the risk for one trade which will be 10,000 times 2%, which will be, yes, good. So 200 is our risk, right? It's a predetermined risk amount. And therefore, the lot size equals to our predetermined risk, $200, divided by 670 US dollars, right? So what is, is, what is the answer for this? Uh, okay, so it's 2 minus 6.7. Wait, 0.2985. Right? 0.2985. Okay, let's just uh, use the, the second decimal. Okay. All right, good. So by doing this, okay, now till here, what else we need? We have our entry, we have our stop loss, and we have already calculated the correct loss size for risking only 200 US dollar. What is the next thing that we need to calculate? Very good, the profit taking level, right? So our TP1, usually for TP1, we use one to one, one to one risk ratio, risk reward ratio, TP2 is 1 to 2, okay, risk reward ratio, okay? So you need to calculate because we are risking $6.7, right? Okay, so we have to minus from 1 to 2, 1.39, you minus 6, 7, or you can use the tools provided by trading view here. You take the short position, okay, and put a stop loss here. And you drag here until it shows one to one. Okay. Now here. Now it's one one to one is here. Okay, good. Let's just mark a line here. Will be two one to one four point six point sixty four. This this is the first target. The second target will be one to two will be here. Okay, almost there. Okay, we just put another TP one two zero seven point eight eight. All right, good. Now, let me ask you: Are you are we completed of this trading plan? Okay, we have our entry, we have our stop loss, we have our loss size zero point. Two nine, okay, and we have TP one and TP two, and maybe TP three, okay. That's good. Are we done? Yeah, just give me an answer. Are we done? Is this trading plan completed or not? Hey, give me the answer. Now, based based on what we have right here, we have written here, right? Are you able to send the orders to the market? 
No, it not. It is not seems yes. Can you enter a trade by the information I provide here? <laughs> you have a clear entry. You have a clear stop. You have clear TP one, TP two, and you have clear loss size. And look here. How many minutes passed? All right, because with the time that I type all these words and I explain to you guys, we use about ten minutes to complete this. Right? Okay. Now, decision time. You want to trade, or you don't want? If you want, like, if you would like to join, you should be busy enter the trade right now. If you haven't done it. Am I right? Okay, so give me the answer. Give me your choice. Do you want to take the trade right now? Because now, yes, you are still shorting at the almost entry price. In, in. Okay, and are you ready to take half profit at one to one four point sixty four? Are you ready to take another half at one to one one two zero seven? Or maybe we can have a a final target at one to Three, which would be one, two, zero, one, or even lower. We just move a stop loss to break even and hold the positions as long as we can. All right. So here now, what you have seen is a professional trading plan that was built by a professional trading system. And give me your feels, feelings. What do you think of this trading plan? Is this trading plan a high quality trading plan that you would like to follow, or is this a random trading plan that is you know provided by nobody, provided by a, a random signals? Do you live in this trading system it, by doing this, by continuously trading like this? Okay, write your trading plans for every trade. Before you really moves in, you are going to be profitable. Okay, the important thing I want to share is, guys, you see, we use about ten minutes to write this entire plan, driven by this inside bar plus or a pin bar, right? Okay, and now we have already entered the market, and you should let the market to decide. Whether it will give you a stop loss that give you a two hundred dollar risk, a loss, or it may give you a four hundred dollar in return or even more. This is a whole idea of a professional trading. Now, raise your hands. Have you done similar things like this before? Raise your hands. Or you can reply me by one. How many of you have? Trade in this way, not by trading. Yeah, this is a ah, this RSI is going well. The, by indicators, not by trading. What by news? Okay, not by trading. By you know, just a, ah, I think it's going down. Let's short. All right, you have a particular trading plan. You have a very very comprehensive trading plan before you take the trade, and you can execute it well. All right, good for those. I can see that. Raise the hand or tells me yes. Tells me one. Basically, I can see、uh, maybe ninety percent are my students, right? Which is very good. I do hope that you can continue to do this over and over again, right? Don't let yourself to be out of control. Don't anyhow just you know trade a take a trade without the proper planning. All right, because you are going to benefit from this for your entire trading life. All right, and okay, Manhan, can you share to us that? Do you really benefit from this style of trading, or does it give you a significant enhancement after you know? Oh, okay, to trade like this rather than trading. Like before, without any plan, just trading randomly. Is there a huge difference? Right? Maybe you can share to 
us a big advantage. All right, thank you. Okay, so this is a goal. And what else can we do? Okay, let's go to four hour chart. You can see more precisely. Okay, and today I'm very, very, very happy that actually my students group, we actually take two trades. The first trade we take is here, the one, two, two, seven, this trade. If this place actually comes yesterday, we short from here and gives our about 70 pips in return. The second trade is found by my students group themselves. And then they are using their 6 YMA level, and they short from here, one, two, two, four. Okay, so if you understand what is Fibonacci, what is 618, you're able to find better shorting opportunities, right? You're, you're having a very, very good entry, and now you're in profit. Okay. So, congratulations to my students. I, I really... I'm really happy that you can catch this 618 pullback. This is what I teach, and I'm glad that you guys applied it. Okay, so what's the next for the goal? It may drop to 1219 again, and I think if this place was taken out by the sellers, okay, if this place was broken, the goal is going down to at least 1208. Okay, to the previous here, the structure here. All right, so we can even enhance our TP, TP levels. You can have a better TPs, okay? And let's look at the daily chart again. And guys, identify these harmonic patterns. Raise your hand. Can you identify this bad pattern? What is this one indicate? Wow, it's telling you maybe the gold will drop to 1169. So if you are using this bearish, uh, sorry, using this bullish bad patterns completion point as your indications, can you, or is there any chance that you can hold your short all the way here? Do you think that would be a good choice? Since the harmonic pattern tells you you can consider to buy at 1169. And when the, when the pattern complete, your short will have a very, very large profit. So the best way is, well, we try to hold some of our, some portion of our positions to there. Okay. And you will have a very, very nice swing. And now the, in daily chart, there's a sideways here, the gold is not not yet broke down yet all right not yet broken down so you have to wait wait for the price to have a solid red candle close below 1219 if you see this thing happen immediately if it has a pull back the next day you can short it again right and aim to 1202 and when the price comes to here there will be some support right and you have to take some profit but if the price consolidated after it hitting the supporting zone right it may have another breakdown and if you think this happens right congratulations your short from 1 to 21 we have a very very big profit are you with me do you understand what I'm saying. So have 1202, 1201 have some support and you need to check whether the support can hold the price or not. Right? If it can hold the price, you take some profit. If it cannot hold, it just penetrates all right a very, very big red candle going down, right? It will go to 0 0.86. So with the information that we gathered from the markets, we know what are the critical level of the code? <laughs> yeah, already you can you can hold to one two zero two, all right? Because 
by the time we hold to here, you already hit one, two, three. You already hit one, two, three risk reward ratio. You can take some profit. You can take 60% or even 90% of your profit. This trade was done. And what I'm talking is, you can have some little positions to hold as long as you can. Because that will give you a risk-free trade because you have already take your stop loss to break even after TP1 or TP2 is hit. So are we clear of gold? Guys, right, this will be a very, very high possibilities of the next moving, right? In for our chart, uh, in daily chart. But don't forget, in December, we have a F -E uh, uh, the, FES, the FOMC meetings, okay? It looks like they're going to increase the rate. The chances are very high. So basically, the dollar will gain strength. And if you look at the euro and sterling, okay, the brief exit have some problems. Okay, the two peoples are fighting each other. Okay, the UK would like to exit the European zone, right? by paying less penalties. However, the Eurozone is doing very hard, okay? They would like to still maintain some benefits from UK. So these two parties are fighting, right? So when the Eurozone has some problems, what do you think of dollar, guys? When Eurozone, have problems, what do you think dollar will do? Yeah, the, the, the money in the Eurozone will have some of this kind of concern that, oh my God, what will happen, right? Because in either way, the, uh, the UK have problem or the, or the Eurozone have problem, the both, the currency will go down. So the dollar will gain strength. And some more, the dollar have a very nice interest. So the money will just go to the dollar side, right? So our short of the gold have a very, very nice probabilities to win. Okay. All right. Good. So let's take a look at the euro. All right. The euro break a new low in the last week here, okay, in November 13th. Right, and this one looks like it's a false breakout because it goes down and then the price just takes, goes all the way to 1.1450. However, we do find another place to shorten euro, right? Which I tell the students group, right? I think there's a bad pattern here and we can short from 1.147, 1, 1 okay? And now the bad pattern works pretty well. Okay, uh, raise your hand. Anyone still holding the 1.14, 50 or 60 short? Anyone? I know some of you have short this because I have published in the group, right? You should be following the trade because if you short from here, your risk is so small, right? It's less than 40 pips and your rewards will be very, very nice. It's one to 4.5. Again, we don't know why or when or why the euro will fall, but we only know that we can take the short and we can end to one point one two two, one two three, and one two four. Right? So that is how we trade. How we trade the market. We are not trading, you know, by the news. We are not trading by the uh, so-called the technical analysis. But we are trading by harmonic patterns and we're trading by the advantage, advanced entry levels, All right? So right now you can take some profit of your short, All right? Because it did hit into a very low place, yeah, hits into the neckline again, All right? And now the four hour chart has inside bar, All right? You have to be watching whether the inside bar was uh, breaking up or breaking down. If the, Four hour inside bar breaks down. What do you think? 
if the four hour inside bar breaks down again, can you still hold? Can you still hold your short? Yes, you can. Okay, because we have another harmonic patterns. Yes, you're right. We have a potential, another bad pattern here. It tells you the euro will fall to 1.1245, right? So yeah, you can still hold because still now it's still downtrend, right? So try to short euro when there's pullback. I think now it is a pullback. Yeah, because it has broken the support from here and, and you can see now the price pulling back but is reject from 1.1330. <coughs> right. Good. All right. Let's look at the sterling. The sterling has some, um, you know, it's it's a bad boy these days. Okay, because if it goes up and goes down, it moves very very crazy. Right. Big drop, big up, and then goes down, pulls back ninety percent, then goes up again. Right. So it makes um, the market very very volatile. So in this situation. Guess what is your what is the best strategy? Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting up, getting cold. All right, Yang Yang raised hand. Yes, stay away. You watch. You don't trade because you know something is going to happen of the UK. All right? You may still consider to trade Euro because the main character is UK. Is England, right? Whether Theresa May, you know, passed the conference, or it was she was, you know, getting rejected from the Parliament, right? We don't know. And when the news happens, the, the the story just moves like this, crazy. So we don't want to trade such a volatile market, okay? But you can consider to watch and prepare to either you want to sell high or you want to buy the low. And now look at a chart, guys. What have we found? If I pull this two line here, what can you see? What pattern is this? Yeah, it's a triangle, right? It's very, very big triangle, and the high is getting lower, the low is getting higher. It's we call it squeezing, right? It's squeezing. So, and you have to <coughs> you have to make a analysis that whether this one is approaching the seventy percent of the total triangle. So we draw our midline here. We draw our seventy percent line here, right? Do you think this this thing, this sterling, is going to break out soon, or do you think it may still struggle and a struggle and a struggle, and until it reached the time, maybe to next year January, right? Somewhere here to the. 70% of the triangle, it will break at this time. Which one is more likely to happen? <clears throat> because to me, I think this triangle is still not yet, you know, matured. Right? It may still have a, a lot of uh, consolidations. By squeezing, I think it may have some uh, clear answer next year, January or February. And this is my feelings, and I want well, uh, I would like to highlight to you guys. So, do you want to trade sterling right now, or you would rather wait? Right? Some people tell me, "Yeah, I want to buy the sterling." Well, if you want to buy. I think it's fine. You can try to buy at the bottoms of the triangle and put your stop loss below 1.7. However, I would like to highlight to you that your stop may be touched.
by the news. All right? And it's, it is not wise to trade this currency when you know the news is going to happen in any days. It just suddenly happens. All right? So I would rather to stay away from the market and just watch it. But I will feel this triangle will give you us a very good directions. All right, so sterling, we just keep it out. All right, we don't, we don't touch sterling. Good, are we, are we okay? All right, so don't trade sterling. This is my suggestion. Until, until it breaks the triangle. All right, if you agree, please reply me by one. Okay, very good. Let's move to Aussie dollar. The Aussie is consolidating as well. After the break, this level 0.7160, and moves up to 0.33, and hits into previous pivot and goes down again. So Aussie is really sideways, right? No clear directions, really. Look, look at the chart. It's really sideways, right? So when sideways market, you can consider short the high when it comes to 0.7320. This level you can short, or you can consider the buy when it hits 0.7160. You can consider the buy, but I will suggest that you only do the first touch. All right. Aussie sideways. Those either low sell high, but you don't trade many times. You just trade maybe one time selling and one time buying. Okay, dollar yen. Hmm. <clears throat> dollar yen is interesting because last time oh, we said this is a, there's a bad, bad pattern here it may go down, right? Uh, yeah, it really goes down. And now there's another pattern here. You can see so uh, A B C D patterns plus a bad patterns. The A B C D already completed, and now the price shows some bearish signals. And now the price is at the neckline. So, guys, what is your trading plan? Tell me. Are we able to catch a trade? Yes, we can short. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. And now it's also inside the bar, right? It looks like the inside bar is going to break down. Where's your stop loss, Samsung? The stop loss is very, very easy to set. So easy. You just ask yourself, when will you consider that you don't want to short anymore? When will you change your view of shorting? When? Your stop loss should be always placed at the place that you change your view. Okay, so can you identify here this very strong candle? You need to go left and ask yourself, right? Hmm, the whole bearish trend starts from here, okay? Because the dollar yen tries very hard to push to 114.1, but then failed, and then has a very, very strong bearish engulfing candle, and break down the structure and pulls back, right? So, if the price break 114, are you still going to short? Uh, yeah? Are you still going to short if the price make a higher high than 114? Give me your answer. You don't show anymore, right? Because you don't want to see this high. This high will be broken. Well, see, wow, very nice. If you enter the short, you make money. Now the inside bar breaks down. Very good. <coughs> okay, so take a shot of dollar yen. Stop at one one four point zero three, right? And just aim to maybe the previous here, or even the 
the previous low, right? Because it's very, very common for the dollar yen to complete their ABCD patterns like this. Okay, like this. All right, so my target you can consider at 111.33. All right, with the ABCD patterns here. Easy? Is that easy? All right, major wave down, ABCD pullbacks, neckline, you short, aim for previous low and 111.73. I don't need to wait for confirmation because the price action already tells you. One touch cannot break, second touch cannot break, inside bar breakdown. What else you need? Isn't this confirmation enough for you to take a short? Do you agree? You have to watch the price action here. Now it is a very strong bullish candle or it uh, has already stopped making higher high and start to making lower low. Right, so this is how we look at the market. A, B, C, D completed, right? One touch, second touch, cannot break new high, right? And then now the inside bar breaks down. Can you feel the Bulls power is down and the bears is coming. Yeah, just give me your answer, yes or no. All right, so this is what we trade. We trade what we see. We trade when the price complete ABCD, which gives out very good entry, and we trade when the price stop making higher high and stop making lower low and we take a trade. Yeah, easy. Is that easy? An easy decision, so you just need to short and stop loss break, put at 114 and just aim to maybe 112.40 first and then 111.70, that is my view. All right, by the way, for the dollar yen, if you want to compare with some other market, you should compare with S&P. Okay, so S&P has already shown you, give you, give you the answer that a dollar yen is not going to have more strength because S&P is going down, right? Can you see that? <coughs> SMB also completes our ABCD pattern and goes down again. So I think we will do the same thing. All right. Okay. Let's look at oil. The oil has a very, very nice fall, right? I have been telling you guys to short oil things, things maybe October 17th, right? I have been telling you guys to short. Short the pullback or short the inside bar, and we get an inside bar here. And it goes to 66, goes to 55, and then it goes to 50.31. So now you understand why we, we, I, I asked you guys to short when oil break at this breakdown because it breaks a very, very important structure, and then that is the whole idea of taking a short and trying to catch a potential short downtrend. Okay, so you should be making a lot of money by shorting oil. Right. You just keep going down every day, very, very easy money. And then it pulls back, and then it goes down again, pulls back, goes down again, inside of our breaks down again here, you see here, inside of our breaks down right is the money and now the price has already dropped to 50 and if you place a fibonacci retracement it has already touched the fibo level okay 50 percent well i do think there will be some spark here all right but 
long term wise, the oil will touch 45.49. Just remember, okay? Just get ready. The oil may touch here. So now, is this good place to buy the oil, guys? Are you going to try to buy from 51? Do you? Wow. No, yeah, why? Why you want to buy here when it's obviously a downtrend and not even going to a 61A place? Right? Because in bearish trend, you want to focus on sell, you want to focus on buy. Nice. The whole bullish trend has gone, guys. Really, the whole bullish trend is gone. You see, the trend line was broken here, right? The whole channel was just going down. It will not give you a very good profit you will buy before it touched 45. So you should still be focused on selling. Right? And now the trend line is still very, very bearish. Okay? So my suggestion, you sell the high, okay, sell the pullback. Where are we pull back to? Here. Right, you try to focus on here 53.35. Sell here, okay, and see whether it can give you another fall to 45. All right, don't buy, don't buy here. You buy, you can just catch a very, very little bounce, but you know, the main direction is still going down. All right, and let me ask you. What kind of uh, scenario that you consider to starting to buy oil? What kind of pattern can we use to, to buy the oil? This is actually a question that I, I would like to ask you before the market moves because you have to be very, very clear that what kind of pattern is a signal that the oil is likely to form a higher lows and higher highs. Very good, Melbourne. 2618. Very good. Okay, so if you really want to buy oil, you should wait for what? You should be wait for a double bottoms, right? You have to wait for that. You have to wait for double bottoms. Okay. And by the pullback of 618, you have to wait for the 2618. Right? So if there's no double bottoms, you don't want to consider buy. That is our conclusion. No, pink bar is not enough. It has to be a double bottoms because you are fighting against a so strong trend here. It's so strong. Without the double bottoms, without the bot double bottoms to let the sellers to feel that the trend is going to change, right? The, the oil will not going up. Yeah, Alex says X, Y, A, B also can, no problem. But the more important thing is you have to wait for this. Let me just highlight it here. You have to wait for the blue line to be broken up. You get it? Before the oil breaks up the blue line, you don't want to buy. Remember? Are we clear? Right? Don't not not even think about it. Don't buy. If before it breaks up the blue line. Right, just focus on sell. You're still within the blue line. Okay? So then that, that is my view of oil. Right? Great. <clears throat> right, last we'll talk about 
Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin moves very, very crazy because it breaks down 6,000 level. And ever, what, what is this, guys? If you understand this, you should be making a lot of money. Guys, uh, what's this? Inside bar breaks down, right? Okay, so yeah. Immediately it breaks down, you can just take a short and then follow by another inside bar breaks down, drop from 4,005, right? And now it's 3,008. Wow. So this how strong when inside the bar occurs in a momentum trading. Okay, because you know that it's the 5,008 or 6,000 is very important support. After breaking the support, there's nothing here can stop the price to going down. Okay. Let's look at the monthly chart. Well, I think it may touch 3,000. It may touch the pink here, 3,000. So get ready. If you want to buy from 3K, I think it's okay. Okay, don't be surprised that Bitcoin is going to 3,000. Okay. Now it's the 2008, right? It's still bearish trend, right? So no hurry, don't don't catch the falling knife yet, right? Wait for the price to break up the blue line, form a double bottoms, right? Or form a harmonic patterns, and then you start to buy. But I will strongly recommend to consider to buy from 3,000 level, okay? Or 3,200, right? If you buy from here, it will give you very very nice opportunities. Okay. Yeah, because it falls too sharp, it may have a very very big correction. Okay, and I think three thousand two hundred is very good level. Yeah, because that is a mostly charts pin bars bottom here. See this pin bar here. Okay, so if this pin bar can hold, okay, it's very good. Buy. Clear? Are we clear? Yeah, so if the Bitcoin really give you the price, right? Check the price section. If, if nothing, if this really cannot go in down anymore, you buy it. And don't be surprised, you recover 6,000. Make a very strong pullback. Okay. So I think that's all for today. I recovered a lot of markets, a lot of uh, potential trading opportunities. And we demonstrate how to trade an inside bar in the beginning. Okay, and we discussed about sterling, the Euro, all the dollar yen, oil, Bitcoin, Euro, S&P, right? So I think, uh, are you have you been more clear of the market, guys? Yeah, because now it's ten fifty five. I do hope that this webinar can give you some thoughts, give you some guidance of the market. If you benefit from this, very good. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, last but not, not least, right? Uh, it has been almost uh, going to, <coughs> because now it's uh, uh, November 27th, right? So I'm going to give a Christmas sales of my professional trader course, right? So do you uh, let your friends or your uh, other people know about these uh, promotions? Okay, so it will be a 20% discount of the whole course, right? So the usual price is 3000 and uh, after the discount 20% sales, Christmas sales will be 2006 only. And you join my students group as well and uh, <coughs> learn all my trading systems uh, together, right? So this will be the announcement of this uh, Christmas sales, right? That I have been only done is for one time, right? Because last year I don't have this 
promotions, right? So this is uh, be a very good news, right? If you want to learn how to trading like me, how to have a distra, our abilities to analyze the market and trade it, right? So don't waste the time, right? I will, uh, the promotion will last until the December 25th, all right? Christmas sales, all right? Uh, unfortunately, you cannot attend my China, China classes because it, it was taught by, uh, uh, first, it was taught by Mandarin, second, uh, you have to go into go to Shanghai, right? But I, I will invite you to my Shanghai's trading academy to trade with us, right? Uh, not necessarily you need to take the course because the content will be the same, right? Yeah. Okay, you can come here to trade with us. That would be possible. Okay. Euro break structure. Wow, good. So, are you, are you, yeah, very nice shot of Euro. Wow, perfect. How is the trading competition? Is over? No, not yet. Uh, still have one more month to go. Yeah. Wow. Guys, wait, where's your, where's your, where's your profit now? I said we can short from here, right? The book moves down. Yeah, Florence, just contact me, all right? You send me a message, you're gonna to come to Shanghai Trading Academy. Right, we are there. Uh, I have uh, I have five five uh, trading co uh, coach in Shanghai, and three of them are from Wall Street, uh, two from uh, UK and Australia, and one from China. Okay, they are going to yeah treating you well. You know, yeah, very good. That is what we want. Okay. Whew. Yeah, congratulations for people who show the gold and show euro. Very nice, right? Good. I think the gold is going to break down. Yeah. Yeah, there are twenty five. There are twenty five trading, trading desks in our in my Shanghai Academy. You can come here. Yeah, unless you bring twenty people. Right. <laughs> okay. Sure, no problems. Yeah. I love you. I love you as well. Okay, good. So that's all for today. Thanks. I will upload the uh, recordings to YouTube. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, don't forget the Christmas sales of the professional trading course. All right. Don't forget. See you next time. Bye-bye.